Yo, what's up guys, Nathan here, and today in this video, I'm going to be playing a new game on my channel. It's called Seven Days to Die. Don't know if you guys, you guys have heard of it, but I think it's pretty good. I got it about last week, and I like it. It's a really good game. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys the basics of the game, showing you how to play, and, you know, talking about what I'm going to be doing. So hopefully this can be a really nice series. Hopefully I can make a bunch of videos on this. And yeah. So I, so I started this new world. It's my YouTube world. And I've on survival. So I spawned in a desert right now. There's cactuses all around. There's, tr there's grass and stuff. So this game, if you don't know about it, it has zombies on it. And deer, pigs, chickens. And there's a bunch of types of zombies. There's like a screamer zombie. There's a really big zombie. There's a fat zombie. There's cop zombies. And there's like crawling crawling zombies. And yeah. So let's get right to the video. So what I'm going to be doing is the tutorial kind of thing of the game. my five pieces of stone so now what you gotta do is you gotta craft an axe so you go in here and you look for an axe so actually I got a little bit more stone but that's okay that's all you need is five there I go got my first axe a level one axe okay now and now I want us to, to get clothing so in here it's pretty simple explains itself pretty good and so yeah you just want to get everything that you want like that it says to grab so all of the plant fiber stuff all right so you so you want so you want uh, pants a shirt a hood shoes and gloves so I'm crafting all that right now so this is how you do it so um all right so and I'm in here so you want to put all your clothing on. There we go. Got all that good. Got my clothing on. Okay. So, so basically what you do is you hit X. It brings you to this side thing over here. And what you do is like the triggers. So like if you're on Xbox, left and right trigger, LT and RT. It goes left and right. So ba there's basics, building, resources, ammo, what tools, food, medicine, cl clothing, and decoration. So I I went to clothing to make those, and then I went to tools and traps for my axe. And yes, now it wants me to make a wooden club. So I have wood. You're, you'll probably have to grab more wood. So there, now I made a cl wooden club. There we go. So now that I got my club, now it's going to show another thing. Okay. Now it wants me to make a bow. So you want to look for bird's nests. Let's see if I can find one real quick. Um, so they're small. They're kind of hard to see. See, that's what the rocks look like. They're nice and small like that. Just pick them up. And you get one. Another one right there. So they are like fairly hard to see. Um, I'm not seeing any bird's nests though. I might have to keep searching for a little bit. 
Okay, so I was looking for a bird's nest, and I come across a zombie. I still haven't found a bird's nest, though, but... So here's a zombie. Okay, I don't have my bow, so this is pretty hard. Oh, never mind. I got three hits. Oh yeah, so I got some food now. So I got a can of pe uh, pears and large beef ration. Okay, so now that I got food, if you hold X, go there. You can see food and water on the side. Food, water, right there. So I got my food, and I got my star set gives me a bottled water. So I'll take that when it gets a little lower. I'm not going to take it yet, because I don't need it. Alright, I'm still searching for a burst. Oh, okay. So this is what a burst nest looks like, guys. Like that. If we go in here, you get feathers. So I got 17 feathers and 2 eggs. So that's pretty good so far. So now if we go into crafting, we click on arrows under ammo and weapons. And then we craft some arrows. So arrows is a really good way to level up your crafting. So, you know, I'm just going to make... As, there, as many arrows as I can. 17 arrows, because that's how many feathers I had. And if you guys think I'm cheating, I am not. My friend, I have a friend on my world. He gave me the 6,000, like, uh, he gave, okay, he gave me the 6,000 fiber, like plant fibers, the 6,000 wood, and 6,000 stone. I told him to do that for me just so I could get through this tutorial. Oh crap, I didn't mean to draw my eggs. No, come on, come, get back here. Alright. Alright, so if you crouch down and, and it says undetected, that is good. That means no zombie is coming to get you and is trying to kill you. That's a good thing. Uh, I almost forgot to craft a bow. Alright, so what I normally do is I normally empty my hotbar and then I put my get my setup in. There we go. Level 13 bow. That's pretty good. My first bow. I don't know how it's already that high, but... And I normally scrap the land claim block. You don't have to, but I do. I think it's more for like a online, like a like a public server, just so nobody steals your land. So then you can hit B to put the arrow in and reload. If you hold B down, it'll show you other options for arrows. So there's fire arrows, steel, and iron arrows. But I have the basic regular arrows. Okay, so now that I got that down, now the quest is start a base. Gather wood. I got the wood. Craft a wood frame. Place a wood frame and upgrade the wood frame. Alright. So, well, we can do that. Yeah. So we go under building. Go over a little bit. Um, look for the wood. Wood frame. There it is. And put it down. Craft wood. Oh, I need. Okay, it wants me to craft more than just one. It wants me to craft three. There we go. Craft three. Hang on. Alright, so zombies with a bow, you normally want to aim for the head. That's what I'm going for. Then once they get on the ground, I'm not going to use my arrows. I'm just going to hit them in the head with my club. Alright, so this, you do not want this. The old sham sandwich. You can eat it if you are desperate. And I mean desperate. It gives you plus 15 fullness, but it has a 60% chance of food poisoning. Do not eat that. Okay. And actually, I'm going to I'm gonna just do this. Okay, never mind. I'm not. It's going to take too long. Alright, so let's do this uh, quest. So, just start a base, I guess. Alright, we have another zombie. Alright, so same thing. Just aim for the head. Oh. I got him in the shoulder, but that's okay. I'm going to use the arrow just to finish him off. You don't have to. But yeah, you always want to make sure you search them, too. Because they can have some good stuff. There are some... There's nurse um, zombies. And the... Oh. Okay, I just got hit by that cactus. Yeah, do not run into cactuses if you spawn in this kind of biome. Alright. And to, cr and to upgrade these, all you have to do is left trigger. LT on the wood. It uses 10 wood on each one. But it makes this nice thing. So that's how you do that. Alright, so the next quest is to craft a bedroll. Bedrolls are really, really handy in a zombie game like this. So what you do is you craft them with fiber. You need 20 plant fibers. And once you put it, like once you craft it, put it down. Basically, if you die, you can, you have the option to spawn right at your bed. So, yeah, it's very good. You'll probably see me doing that a lot. 
like planting a bed in case I'm going into a town. So there are big cities in this game. You do not want to go in those right away, okay? You do not want to go in those like until you're ready, you know. All right, since I spawned in the in this biome, what I like to do is I like to get the cactuses. Okay, the cactuses are really helpful. Oh, got another bird's nest here. 36 feathers. There you go, and I can make some 36 more arrows. So you can also hit you can also hit them for fibers, but you know it's better to just hit the plants. You get it a lot faster. All right, so. Alright, and what's, what does it want me to do? Build a campfire. Alright, we can build a campfire then too. So, a campfire is good to cook your food on. So, here's a campfire. It takes eight stone. Let's craft it. And then, oh, for, so some quick buttons that are nice to know. You push the right stick down, like on the Xbox controller. You can, it'll automatically put it in your hot bar that I call it. Your task bar, whatever you want to call it. And if you're searching a guy like this, okay, so I've earned a skill point. Alright, so there we go. I did that. Alright, so say I want, say he has like five items in here. If I want all of them, all I have to do is push the left stick. It will put everything that he has in my inventory. But I don't want that, like I said. So do not grab those. <laughs> Alright, so I got the little quest guy thing done. I started a base. I'm probably not actually going to live in a homemade base. I might. Whatever you guys want. If you guys want me to, then I will. So, I'll probably f try and find a house in the next episode. And go from there. So, houses, you can go in them. Sometimes they're lo the doors are locked. Sometimes they don't have doors. Sometimes they're unlocked. So, if they're locked, just hit them with your axe. Your axe is the best tool that you, that you want to use. Like, it's best tool you can have so like my axe is level one so that is insanely bad <laughs> that's pretty bad but like as you use it and get new ones it'll become better and better and better so you use your like when you use it a lot the health it would die and then you can't use it anymore what I prefer is I'd say scrap it so to scrap it you hit X you hit Y on on the stone axe and then you push the right stick to scrap it Scrapping it just kind of breaks it down into its parts, but for the axe you don't get your wood back. You get three stone though. So yeah, there's the axe again. I just wanted to make a new one just so it's a higher level. So there we go. See now that I made a new one, now it's level two. So now it's even better. All right, so I'm gonna show you one quick thing if you're in this kind of biome. If you're in other biomes, um, I. To be honest, I don't really know that much about the game, so I don't know how to help you in those areas. So, yucca is a very important ingredient, like, especially if you're in this biome. I love yucca. It's, it's my favorite thing in this game. Because <laughs> yucca, you can eat it, but you can also make it into juice. So, I right, let's see what my... Okay, so my water's at 75%, but I'm going to drink my water real quick. There, so now I'm at 100%. Now I can go to recipes by... If you hit Y on everything, it will show you what you can do with it. Then, so now I'm going to craft this. Yucca juice, it's called. So in 10 seconds, uh, you'll turn that empty jar that was full of water, that's now empty now, <laughs> into yucca. There we go, and I got yucca. So plus 30 hydration, I mean plus 15 hydration, plus 30 stamina, and 0.1 wellness. So wellness is really good for you guys. Wellness is basically... The marker of your health and stamina. So if I have wellness of 101, I can have 101 health. I only have 100 health and 100 stamina right now. So, yeah, I'm just trying to give you guys all the tips I know about the game. You know, so whenever you cut down trees, see if you get seeds from them. Big trees, like tall ones like that over there, you get, um, you get seeds from them sometimes. That might be like maple seed, whatever kind of seeds you get. Then you can place them down, grow them again. So big trees like that, you get two seeds. Smaller trees, one seed. And then there's also these t little shrubs. Not not that, but like, that actually gave me wood. But but shrubs like, like that over there. So yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial of the game. Next episode, next video, I will be 
actually trying to survive, trying to get somewhere, and killing a crap ton of zombies, hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah, hope I can find a house next episode. And, hope you guys liked this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and comment below if you want to see another one of this video. I'll make one every week or so. So, yeah, let me know if you guys like the series so far. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.